Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra, jumping in again and this time we're going in as the good old Viking. I didn't actually check my weaponry there, my bad. Um, quit the game? No, yes, there you go. Right, weaponry. What we got going on here? We do have a yo-yo gun, which is kind of interesting. We can play around with that and we'll turn that on as well. But yes, we're going to play as the Viking here. We have two different Ultra mutations, secret Ultras to go for. And they both seem reasonably easy. So for the first one, let's first of all grab um, this. So for the first one, we're just going to want to basically get to the last, get to Ultra having either holding a yo-yo weapon, having uh, the alien intestines item, or having been to the oasis. So we've got a few different options to work with here, which is pretty good. Um, we do have a big snake thing here going. We like that. We like that. I think the yo-yo gun's going to be pretty amazing for us to start with here. You get out of here. You get out of here. But we can spend armor to fire off these crazy little things here. Uh, so what we want to go for here? Um... Honestly, Hypersomnia is just so good nowadays that I'm going to take it. It really got a massive improvement. But I'm happy to be back on some Nuclear Throne. What's, what's been your guys' favourite part of Nuclear Throne Ultra that you've seen or played so far? It'd be interesting to hear from you guys what's um, what's a part of Nuclear Throne Ultra that you think is uh, really missing from the base game or just something that you've really, really enjoyed seeing. Um, let, let's try and get a little more kills first. I mean, there's more to do over here. Why not? And we'll go into the inverted area. Um, why the hell not? Okay. Um, it's kind of a difficult one there. I think I'm going to go for power craving, I think. Um, I'm going to leave all those weapons behind. We do go into this inverted area here. This is what I mean about the, the uh, hypersomnia. Having all of these enemies be asleep for that long. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Even the boss spawns in already asleep. Oh, I got hit by an explosion there. What the hell enemy exploded me? I have actually no idea. Oh god, I need to be more careful. This yo-yo gun's doing a top job though. Oh, if only I could play the game correctly and not get hit. Why did I not just click restart there? All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to stick with the yo-yo gun. Stick with this. Uh, we can probably go to the Oasis actually uh, first, you know. Oasis is pretty easy to get to, so we might as well. That's seriously not it for the stage, is it? No, no, no. Good. I'm going to say we've got all of our chests left yet. So we don't want to go through there. We want to go for the Oasis on the next floor. Grab all of those. I'm not seeing anything that I want thus far. We're getting up to level 2 straight away. This, um, this Ultra, not Ultra, Crown is so goddamn good for this. Um, Nerves of Steel seems pretty goddamn good for us here. Obviously, it puts our health in a bit of a rough spot. It didn't actually give us plus 1 armor, which is weird. But it means that enemies can now drop armor, which I think is pretty darn useful for us. Right, where's our fish head? There it is. Good, good. Right, let's try and take care of some of these fellas before we uh, touch the fish skull. There you go. But yeah, having gone to this floor, I think, will be enough to uh, allow us to get our ultra. We'll go for the scarier face, of course. I think scarier face with this could be pretty gnarly. Goddamn fish getting too close. How dare you? How dare you? Honestly, yo-yo gun as a starting weapon is not something I've really considered about how good it would be before, but it is doing some work, man. It's doing some work. Get out of here, fish. They get too close to me. I just like the fact that it kind of lingers. Ooh, micro SMG there. Um, Probably got a rhino skin here to keep some safety on us. I think the other ultra mutation is basically don't take anything healing related. So you don't, you can't take like bloodlust or alkaline saliva, stuff like that. Because you're meant to like just sort of utilize the armor, I think that's kind of the idea of that one. So that one seems reasonable as well, I might even be able to do both in one go. But apparently I've been told that unlocking two in one run isn't really worth anything, because you have to select it for it to be permanently unlocked. Which is good to know. Plutonium hunger. Of course, we'll take that. Right, careful of the bouncy shots. They're not always so easy to avoid. But plutonium hunger here is going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, the boss is behind us. I did not expect that. I've not got a lot of ammo to work with here, so I'm not particularly enthused about my chances against the boss. Okay. 
I take that back. I'm going to go with a blood minigun here. Ammo seems to be difficult with this thing, but this thing seems fun. This thing seems really fun. We're going to stick with this for a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Especially if we can get, like, some ammo back off of that. Um, allows self-inflicted damage. What does that mean? Does that mean... Well, I don't know what that means. Allows self-inflicted damage. You can already damage yourself, can't you? We take alien intestines as well here. Okay, let's be a little more careful about <clears throat> my health, shall we? Being a bit blasé about everything right now, and it's maybe not the best of ideas. Probably not going to go to the inverted area here. Do we want a different weapon? Because this thing has, like, no ammo. Um, splinter gun. I guess we can take a splinter gun. Give it a go. <clears throat> we'll go around regular path here. And I think tough shell is another one we can't take with this setup. Lucky shot is probably a good idea. Increased max armor by one. First armor. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. The armor strike being free. It's very, very nice. So it does a ton of damage, the armor strike. Like, it's kind of like the portal strike, but beefed up a little bit, I think. Oh, shit, that guy didn't die. Oh, dude, I am taking some rough damage right now. Could the game offer me some healing in this trying time? That would be most glorious if it could, but... We shall see if that's... the Dude, no way. That was such a bad death. Why do I keep going back to the main menu? I'm stupid. Um, that was such a bad death. I just kind of let that happen, and I really, really shouldn't have. Oh, well, though. Just more of this character for you guys, I guess. But yeah, you can do that and just devastate a whole population, which is pretty fun. Um, I'm going to stick with Yo-Yo. I'm going to try and take, what's it called? Um, the Herming thing with this. We're probably going to take Scarier Face again, though. Scarier Face first is always good. We'll not open the skull yet. How are you surviving all this, my guy? we got Nail Machine Gun and Nail Gun. Interesting. Don't know what the distinction between those two is. I'm guessing one's just faster firing, but a bit weird. Oh, does it close? I didn't realize it closed. Okay. It's alright. We've got plenty of other ways. Ooh, we got the adrenaline fuel. Um, that could be pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with adrenaline fuel. Why not? Gaining ammo over time just seems super valuable. Like, if you get stuck in a situation where you're, like, completely out of ammo, you can just kind of chill for a little bit. This Whiskeria face is doing... Some gnarly things, by the way. New Scarier Face is genuinely insane. It is ludicrous how good it is. <laughs> we'll keep going. Um, Plutonium Hunger is just always a good shout. I'm going to take that again. Yeah, the fact that it just keeps ramping up over the course of the stage is awesome. Scary face do be one of my favorites. Okay, plenty of weapons to choose from, but none really are needed. Up to level five already is very, very good. We're scooping through quite quickly. Uh, I'm gonna take my throwing butt again here because I've really liked having that free strike. Not having to spend armor on it is very good. See what we can do here. Haha! -ha, that assassin approached at the wrong goddamn time. Okay, we do have some snipers about. Let's be careful of those. And another assassin, apparently. Okay. Yeah, there he is. I knew the sniper was about somewhere. Toxic line could be fun, but honestly, this thing's doing a... Mighty fine job so far. Is that not it? Who's left? Ah. 
hello. Boom. <laughs> Complete overkill, but it's funny. Oh, we got our bee skin. Beautiful stuff. Wasn't expecting to unlock a bee skin there, but I will certainly take it. Okay, take those out. Do that. I like the fact that that destroys walls as well. That makes it even better. Having it just get stuff out of the way so that we can get to enemies a bit easier. Very nice. Okay, take out all of those. Careful for that. The Popo are on us. Luckily, we're only losing armor there, so not too bad. Rather, we didn't, but... Oh, oh Sniper got me again. Bugger off, Snipers. Absolutely the most difficult enemy. How is it not hitting him? There you go. <laughs> Took the piss. Blood minigun once again. This gun is still just absolutely killing it, though, so I don't really feel the need to change it. Um, impact wrists will be fun here. Straight on through. We gain some armor back there. Yeah, impact wrists just making everything a little easier for us is rather nice here. Actually, got some pretty good range on this yo-yo gun. I expected it to have a lot less range. It's pretty good. Okay, we'll pop that off. Take out most of them fellas, and then the boss should get absolutely demolished here. Yeah, thought so. Level 7 already. Good, good. Don't think we've got much else to see. Bouncer Flat Cannon, Energy Backstabber. Bouncer Flat Cannon. That might be better. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I think that's better. Bouncer Flat Cannon, especially if we go with um, the Fists. That was nice. Yeah, this thing seems very good. Especially with Scarier Face and the extra damage on top of it. Don't know how I managed to dodge most of those shots. I know I did get hit in the end, but... Survived more of them than I probably should have. Yeah, I just I like having bouncing shots going everywhere. And it's this thing's reasonably ammo efficient too, which is always good. And we got one last enemy over here somewhere. Is it just you? No. It's you. Ah! Okay, I got the rats good. Okay, I don't know how quickly it's going to kill bosses, though, because it doesn't hover over the top of them like the Yo-Yo gun did. Might not be quite as good against bosses. Oh, no, I lied. It's amazing against bosses. <laughs> it's amazing against bosses. Do not worry. Sextuple blood gun. Oh, my God. Okay, we still need to get one of our uh, prerequisites here. A Kraken weapon or alien intestines to actually get something going here. But I think we've at the minute we're on track to get the other ultra. So we might be able to get the other one if we don't get the alien intestine slash tentacle one, whatever you want to call it. I'll need to chill out. Okay, level 8 already. Good, good. Um, I don't really know what I want here, to be honest. I guess I'll take sharp stress. I don't take sharp stress very often. It seems reasonably good under the circumstances, to be honest. This is such a good weapon, honestly. Really, really ammo efficient and bouncing shots spreading everywhere and doing reasonably good damage. It just, it's saving us a lot of hassle. <gasps> Kraken gun. Okay. We are going to have to stick with this now, though, which is a little bit annoying because it's going to be a high ammo usage weapon. But... We can make it work considering we've got that thing that gives us ammo while we wait, I think. I think we do, don't we? Yes, we do. So adrenaline fuel can make this work. So if we ever run out of ammo, we can just be patient, essentially. Right. Back over this way. God damn, I love me some nuclear throne. One second, though. I do have to pause. Let's continue onwards. Okay, we can get lightning on this thing, though. That's pretty fun. And let's keep it going. Takes out all of that. That's very nice. Dude, this thing with scarier face and stuff does some absolutely ludicrous damage. Also, the, the, the man, the myth, the legend is coming in, but I don't know where from. 
There we go. That didn't hit him, are you kidding me? Luckily that killed him pretty quick. Honestly, these high ammo use weapons are way more viable with this, with this adrenaline rush thing going on. Good. I feel like we've been at 52 ammo literally the entire time. We are level 9 now though, so only one more level to go. Good, good, good. And on top of that, we'll get Energy Brain? No, Energy Brain will do anything. Think Hypersomnia for the safety. Yeah, this thing only really starts to pop off once Scarier Face starts going mad. Before that, it's it's good, but it's not the best. I've got to remember as well, I can pick up other guns. This thing seems kind of amazing, actually. It's like bouncing around, doing crazy damage, piercing things. It seems to be a new weapon, to be honest. I don't think I've seen it before. Nope. Ah, oh, okay, I swapped weapon, the right weapon just in time. Got to make sure I don't actually lose my, uh, my Kraken weapon. Is this boss time? I think it is, isn't it? We might be able to get level 10 right here and now, to be honest. Yes, we can, I think. I had a feeling that was going to absolutely demolish him. Is that it? That is not it. Is that it? There you go. Okay. We should have a choice. Yeah, we got both of them. Okay, so let's have a little look-see here. So we've got... Um, Captain of the Kraken. Kraken weapons deal more damage. Tentacles are longer. Kraken weapons cost 30% less ammo. Tentacle armor strike. Whenever you lose armor, spawn a tiny Kraken. Awesome. Replace 50% of your HP with max armor. Health drops become armor. Second stomach doubles armor from armor drops. Healing mutations do not regenerate armor. Definitely going to go for the Kraken one here. We've got a secret skin unlocked as well here. I like it. I love Kraken. It's like one of my favorite things in this in this uh, mod. So having a Kraken based uh, ultra, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'll be using this a lot, especially with a weapon like this, with this setup we got going on with the adrenaline rush. I want to use my armor strike. Yeah, there's the tentacle. Look at that. That's amazing. 57 damage right off the bat. Also, tiny Krakens when we lose armor. We love the tiny Krakens. We love the tiny Krakens. I think um, we can probably go to Courtyard here. Let's, let's add Freezing onto this as well. Why not? Morph and Dance. Let's go to the Courtyard. See what we can get done down here. And we'll try and unlock that other one with the armor as well. That seems relatively easy. Get some blood on that as well, why not? This thing's absolutely stacked now. The Infester. What's left? Ah, there's a bunch of stuff up here. Look at that damage. My goodness. Beautiful stuff. What's left? Ah, a few of you dancing around over here. I see you. I don't like it when they do that attack. That one's rather annoying. Well, luckily we have a weapon that's pretty good at killing stuff. Oh, dude. 
Hello, hello. Get out of here, you. We got the multi crown. Okay. Let's have a little look see. So we'll take that off. Let's have a look see what we got going here. Um Unlock alternate ultra mutations. Die and be reborn from one area of infinite ammo. Unlock alternate ultra mutations. Ooh, we could try that. Wait, can I not pick two if I do that? Apparently I can't pick two if I do that. Unfortunate. Well, I think I can. Wait, what? I'm confused. Did I not? I'm I'm so confused right now. Okay, um, let's have a little look. See, let's have a little look. See, what could be really good for us here? Risks of a worth more and third faster. I, why aren't I allowed two crowns? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Don't know what that is, but give it a go. My Kraken weapon's the way to go right now, though. Adrenaline Fuel once again, I'm going to go for that. Um, Hypersomnia again, I'm going to go for that. And... Flexible Elbows, why not? Throwing Butt, I like the Throwing Butt as well. Oh, this is this gun. This gun can be pretty good. Just kind of leave it to it do its thing. Let the thermite, termites, thermites? No, termites. Was I calling it a thermite gun earlier? I might have been. Okay. We're already level 8, so this is actually a pretty good tactic, to be honest. A pretty darn good tactic indeed. Um, boiling veins, why not? Nerves of steel. Impact wrists. Ah, uh, explosive flail. Red Scythe. Yeah, we like that. We like that. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Hey, big man. Okay, this thing starts to sleep too. I didn't expect that. It's got to be nearly dead already, right? There you go. Good, good, good. Level 9, Ultra. Beautiful. Um, we pick up Ecstatic Fists, and there you go. We got them both, baby. They're both unlocked. It's all armor now. That's how you do it, baby. That's how you have a good goddamn run. That's how you have a good goddamn run. Easy. I'm intrigued by having all armor here. Oh my god. Kraken weapons are just the best. This isn't even with the Kraken mute either. Like, Just go straight through here. Why not? Yeah. Having the, them be asleep on these stages, Hypersomnia really is amazing. My god, look at this stitch. <laughs> oh 
what is going on on the stage, man. Get out of here, cops. Um, who's left? It's like three rerolls. Okie dokie. Should come here more often. Three rerolls is pretty goddamn good. Oh, uh, wait, what? I did not reroll anything. I'm unsure how that works. Everything's still asleep. It's great. Yeah, no thank you to you. No thank you to you indeed. God damn, what a beautiful, beautiful run. I'm just blasting through every stage. Until I go the wrong way. Can we go to the courtyard again? I'm curious. Let's find out, shall we? We cannot. We cannot court you out again, but we can go boom, boom, and boom. Haven't actually finished this there in a while, but we can go and get the other thing, whatever it is, the um, ammo changer. Do this challenge over here. Oh, dude, all of these are going to spawn in a sleep. Okay. Hypersomnia for this is ludicrously good. Okay, this should be pretty easy for us to get through. Some ammo there as well, lovely. Some armor. I like the fact that the armor chests now that's cool. Hit you with the snake boy. Ammo for this isn't exactly a problem right now, little hunter. I did get hit by that thingy there, that van, but armor means I only take one instance of damage from it, so it was fine. There you go, done. Got some armor there as well. Right. Bullets into something I think we're looking for. Bullets into plasma. That seems fun. Yeah, that seems fun. Bullets into plasma seems like a good one to go for. What's this? Crown of Time. Replace your Axe Fight with Rewind. Resets time to the start of the current area. Can be used once an area, twice you have thrown, but... Seems interesting. Yeah, this with plasma, pretty good stuff. Oh, I used it by accident. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I didn't mean to use that then, but that's pretty cool. When, uh, when chickens are, like, ultra, like, when one of the ultras said, uh, rewind time, like, reverse time, I thought that's what it was going to do. Yeah, Plasma was a good shout here. Plasma was a very good shout. There we go. I like the fact that this can go, like, the plasma go through walls as well. It's kind of ridiculous, and I love it. I don't even know what happened there. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a hell of a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.